This is my first year as the head director of bands here at Miles College. Uh, I was the assistant director here for five years under Professor James Merriweather. And I also marched under the Professor Arthur Means Jr., the founder of the Purple March Machine. I came in in 2000, I played the trombone. In 2003, I moved to the baritone. I don't, I don't teach my kids nothing that I can't do. I believe we have audio learners, we have visual learners. So I make sure that I'm, I'm able to do whatever I ask them. I march with the students, I write some of the music for the organization, I teach the kids the sound that I want, things like that. So I think one of the things that make me a little different is that I participate with my students. I just don't tell them what to do but I had to perform the duty. Mr. Means, he did not have the staff that I had. Um, it used to be him and an assistant director. But under the leadership of our new president, when we went to him and told him some of the things that was needed to have a premier band, he gave us a budget where we can hire enough staff to come in and work with the different entities inside the, the band. So it's not just me by myself. I have a staff that's working and training the young people uh, from high brass to the dance coach to the flag coach to the drum major coach to the announcer to the equipment manager and things like that and all of us come together to make this one brand that we have here at Miles College. Can you say no? They're kind of easy. You have a big pole and a short pole routine. It's all based off memorization, though. If you can remember the steps and stay in tune, then you'll be able to do a good tryout and get in. My beginning process was kind of slow, but now it seems like it's better because everyone catches on easy, everything is executed perfectly, and everyone has a good attitude towards each other and spirit is nice at practice. Uh, yeah, we definitely, uh, the style has changed with the dancers. I began in 2013 on the dance line here at Miles, and the style has changed. We went through um, three or four captains, and it's been a great experience, though. It's a great experience. The style has gotten better, the dancing has gotten more mature, and I think that the Dance Miles on the way to a great progress. Well, the people don't see things that goes on behind the scenes. Uh, Miss Sierra Buckley, stand up for me. She told me, said, Prof, my mama never seen me march. And look at God, my mother sitting here tonight. <laughs> Definitely, it's never too late. It's never too late, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And Sierra last game as uh, after Purple Marble Machine, she was always going to be good. She would get to enjoy it with her mother. Her mother would be able to sit in the stands tomorrow and be definitely proud of her daughter and all her accomplishments here at Miles College. And when I came here, it was no music major here. And um, I definitely wanted to be a band director. So I went, I talked to the administration and things like that. and we got the ball rolling. So I'm actually the first music graduate in the history of Miles College. Um, I set the tone by going to Florida, where I taught at Van Buren Middle School, I taught at Plant High School, and I got my career started. I got my master's from National Lewis University. When I came back to Birmingham, Alabama, I was able to go to Jackson Nolan High School, where I taught for a half a, a half a year. Then I got hired here at Miles College, my alma mater, from which I came. And you know, it's just been a great, a great road. Miles College guys, we're definitely saving lives. This band is definitely saving lives. A lot of people don't know this is going on. This is the best kept secret in the state of Alabama.
I was definitely prepared here at Miles College to go on to the different levels. I taught middle school, high school, and on the college level, and I was successful on all of the different levels. And I got my start right here at Miles College. I think music, band, uh, choral, I think all that's important to our youth. Uh, a lot of the problems that we have with our youth, they're not involved in things. And I remember when I was a student uh, in high school and middle school, some of my friends would get in trouble. Some of them even lost their lives in the neighborhood. And one of the things that kept me out of trouble, I was at band practice. You know, a lot of times we have things going on, it keep us out of trouble. You know, a lot of things, some of my friends had uh, babies in high school and things like that. But I didn't have the time because I was in the, in the band.